Hey guys, these things and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. So, okay, we are in this page, which means that obviously there's the new news. And if you guys seen my post yesterday, um, we know that Soge King is coming. So, okay, what surprised me was that um, Kaku is also coming. So, uh, there's a few the theories on how Usopp might be a free to play unit, but like the traits tells me otherwise okay so before we get started right i kind of want to go through the traits and skills first so that you guys will understand more when you take a look at the gameplay video so yep let's just get started okay so first we'll be going through kaku skill so kaku skill one moves forward and for a certain period of time nullify stagger so this skill just seems to give him a buff and that doesn't let him stag uh, get staggered so i think that this skill can be kind of useful because um, if you are engaging with normal attacks on an opponent, sometimes you will lose out because um, yeah, you might just get staggered. But with this uh, skill, right, he will usually win most of the normal battle fights. So it's actually pretty insane. And because he's a uh, red runner, I believe. So um, when using this skill and capping, I think it's gonna be pretty good like you if the opponent is trying to use normal attacks to get you off the treasure it won't work they have to use their skills which i can see some potential in it then skill 2 is a long range with a with stun and nullify stagger so um, stun charge will probably be 100 percent but yeah then next is his traits character traits 100 percent chance to reduce skill 2 cooldown by five percent when receiving damage from enemy so this trait um I will, i'm a bit skeptical because of how like he doesn't i don't think he has any damage reduction traits so like unlike kaido where you can build a defense build and you can take a lot of one damage and this trait will be excellent for him um not too sure how you should do this but maybe you should go for um defense build for this guy tanky build so yeah the next uh, is his trait one. Uh, reduces skill 2 cooldown time by 30% when you capture a treasure. So skill 2 cooldown time is essentially the uh, the long range stun ability. Pretty cool to be honest. Then okay next is uh, the default value of treasure gauge when you capture treasure increases when there's no ally in the treasure area where you are at. So this skill I feel like um, it's not the best but because runners you usually will go solo and try to go for sneak caps it's definitely something but I, i'll prefer if it, it was changed to something that increases more damage dealt or reduces damage done uh taken so okay next is his trait 2 when hp is above 80 percent boost cap speed by 50 percent so not the best um cap speed trait to be honest i prefer something like when you're when your treasure is above 50% uh, increase boost cap speed boost so yeah because um, once your HP gets lower uh, below the 80% this trait is kind of useless so yep okay next movement speed increase by 10% for 10 seconds when using skill 1 so skill 1 indirectly you just get nullify stagger and also um, a 10% speed increase which is pretty cool because you can if you're a runner and you have 10% speed increase you're gonna be moving really fast and enemy if you're chasing down an opponent yeah he, he they pretty much can't run away so okay next is Usopp Usopp skill 1 long range skill nullify uh, stagger and at level 5 it has confused effect so um, standard Usopp skill in my opinion then skill 2 is ultra long range which has chance to burn so I'm liking the ultra long range because um, if you guys ro remember watching the NL's lobby he shot from like super far distance so nice that they implemented this in the game and I think ultra long range will be helpful for him because uh, as a runner you kind of want to maintain distance so skills that have very very long range will benefit you a lot and the chance of chance to burn is probably 100% okay next is his character traits so he negates ne negativity so standard Usopp trait then next is when there's 60 seconds left boost skill 2 cooldown by 100% uh, 
um, essentially 100% means half. So when there's 60 seconds left, depending on how fast the skill is, it's going to reduce by half. So if it's like 30 seconds skill, it's going to uh, cost 15 seconds to uh, recharge it. Okay, next is trade one. Uh, the initial treasure gauge, no, no, when you capture a treasure, boost treasure gauge uh, when there's no ally in the treasure area where you are at. So once again, not that useful, but it, it's, it could be something better, but uh, it's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. So next is when increases treasure damage up by 30% when attacking an enemy in the enemy's treasure area. So I guess... I don't think I like it a lot, but because of how like if you're a runner, you the enemy is defending the treasure. There's kind of no way where you'll be at your enemy's treasure because if they're defending, you'll probably be fighting far range. So not too sure how this trade is going to work out. Then next is uh, his trade two. When down, movement speed increased by 10% for 15 seconds. Uh, I think that, yeah, there's a little bit of, I forget to add in the thing, but it's 10%, guys. So, okay, once again, runner 10% is going to be really decent. And next is when your team has less treasure secured, uh, dodge cooldown time uh, is increased by, reduction speed is increased by 50%. So, um, it's going to reduce your dodge cooldown reduction speed by one quarter. So, it's pretty okay, like in running, him running away, which Pretty good, pretty good. So yep, uh, without further ado, let's just get to the gameplay keep, gameplay keeps. Alright, so the Usopp is actually a green runner when and Kaku is a red runner. So uh, let's just see some translations because sometimes they give more information on like the skills etc. So okay, Soge King, then Snipes, then get runner to punch out enemies with long range attack. Lock on distant enemy with uh what's this firebird star okay let's let's just take a look at this video so as usual i will be playing the whole video twice so you guys can take a look at it then i'll be doing a little bit of a thoughts on how it look how he sees all right so he's firing speed hmm He just seems quite normal to be honest. But that ultra is they, they, they don't even show it as ultra range though. I feel like they need to get better with this character previews. Like it's so bad. Come on, come on. Okay, so there is that speed buff which uh let's see, let's see. Oh, because he was down something like that? Okay. Right, 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 let's go, let's go. So firstly would be his sprite. His sprite honestly looks pretty cool, like what we expected from Soge King. So his normal attacks, it seems very, very normal. Like, yeah, it seems like the same thing as a time skip Usopp's normal attack. So just, just standard. Then this is the skill one. Skill one, the thing is, I think he shot three bullets, which means that uh, the bad thing about this thing is the more bullets you shoot right that that means each bullet would they will split up the damage so unless you hit all three on an opponent maybe you won't even kill the opponent so not not the best ability to be honest like this guy i guess if he's free is is usable but i don't think he look he don't he don't look free to be honest like his traits look like a banner character so he might be a cola unit so yep then okay skill two yeah it's, it's just an ultra range ability so one thing I'm concerned about Usopp is because of how um, like sometimes it not, might not be easy to land the skills because if the opponent can just use some random dodge and you will not hit the ability. So yeah, that's, that's kind of my main concern for Usopp. Then okay, let's just go on to Kaku. I feel like because I don't think he's banner so just just if he's farmable just farm him but if he's not yeah, he, he just seems okay. But look at that art though. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Soge King. OP. Okay, now, now let's look at Kaku, shall we? So Kaku's art, very, very similar to uh, Luchi's art. Okay, so let's see. Come on. 
Okay, so CP9, Kaku, Getter with good uh, movement ability to manage six type of, <laughs> they call it shave, but I'm pretty sure, I forget what's the technique called already. So, okay, turns, your, you, turns into a giraffe with the skill, nose gun, and stun distant enemies. Wait, because the cooldown time of the skill is short, you can play an active part in various scenes. So, okay, so they kind of say that the skill 2 cooldown will be short. So I'm expecting something lesser than 20 seconds. Yeah. Well, then let's take a look at the video, shall we? Okay. Oh my god, 10k plus views. Okay, oh, look at that. Uh, look, their normal attack though. Okay, he has a sword, so his normal attack range will be pretty okay. Okay, so that's the skill one. Looks like a Shunko. Oh, come on. Okay. He looks like freaking Naruto, man. Not gonna lie. Okay. So that is skill 2 right there. Why are you showing the banner though? I, I'll take it that. I guess you wanna show that. Because this is a CP9 scout. So the CP9 part 1 obviously Lu Luchi and... We already guessed the part 2, if he's gonna come out, is most likely Kaku. Because the rest of the characters don't really... Yeah, I don't think they have... They're, they're that cool enough, I guess. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Yeah, take a look at that. I feel like the skill 2, you can dash across water, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's just take a look at the... Okay, so his art, obviously, sprite, pretty decent. Then normal attacks, let's take a look. Um, he has a decent range. And the last hit, you move back. Wait, you move back, right? Huh, that's weird. But I think the last hit is a range ability, so that's pretty good. And if you move back, if you move back, I think it's pretty nice, because um, I feel like moving back, you can kind of like reset the normal attack battle yeah like i think it's pretty decent but the thing is another thing is if you move back right um hmm. i don't know how i feel about the moving back but i guess it's not that bad if that opponent is trying to hmm yeah i cannot see any connection with that the the last hit of the moving back so let me know what you guys feel about the the jumping back of the normal attacks Okay, so this is the, okay, most of the, so this one, it just shows that he can change target, which is what, like, most character can. So I don't see a point in this video, this part. Okay, so this is the skill one, so press, so it's not an instant um, flash tap like that. It, it has like a one second lag before you, you dash, so it I can't see it as a emergency dodge too. Like if if it was there was no lag when you use this skill, right? I can see it being a super powerful dodge ability. Cause like it's gonna be as good as the Dofi ones. Okay, so let's just continue. Then the this coming one should be the skill too. So you press it and it's relatively fast so the opponent has to see you becoming a giraffe then you have to dodge that's the timing then but the long range i like it it's pretty nice then if they say this q2 has long cooldown it should be pretty good so and also it has stun is it yeah which is pretty nice so as you can see press whack then and after you stun you can combo it up with your normal attack so this guy seems okay, but the thing is, as you guys know, I predicted the banner is going to come tomorrow, and after that, 18, it should be stampede. So, please don't summon first. Like, just wait out. As good as Kaku might seem, um, he doesn't seem like something you should, like, use your gems, because especially, it costs 240 gems to get him to level 70, and you guys saw how my Luchi summons went, you are not guaranteed a 5 star. So yeah, um, honestly, I think that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys feel about these char two characters and whether ya Usopp will be a grindable character or a cola character. Then let me know if they are worth it or not. Like, in my opinion, just don't summon yet. There aren't any 
game breaking their traits honestly is a little bit lower than average to be honest like these traits aren't spectacular they are, they are not gonna help them do as much like kaku don't even have any damage increased traits which could be an issue then his skill 2 is also a one hit so again character against character like big mom or anything uh it's not gonna perform then yep i think that's it for this video guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you want to see more one piece bounty rush content then thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you